morning guys my mcgill semester ended at the end of april so i'm back in singapore for the majority of the summer to visit my family and stuff unfortunately arriving here i had to do a three-week quarantine which has been horrible but is thankfully almost over i've spent the last 19 days in this room but i get out the day after tomorrow which i'm very excited about a lot of you guys on instagram messaged me and said you would have wanted to see what my quarantine days kind of looked like so i figured i would vlog the last two days and then me going back home and finally seeing my parents and stuff again it's currently like 12 o'clock i ate breakfast and i facetimed my friend jocelyn for like a little bit this morning i'm currently sitting by the window in my room it's a super nice day out and my room has like this little ledge that i can sit on so i'm just chilling here on my phone but yeah we'll see how i end up passing the day today I'm not gonna lie, the last three weeks I've definitely kind of run out of things to do. The first week was nice because I actually finally got to relax for the first time in a while because Montreal was so busy with friends and school and all of that. And then the second week I kind of got it together and I started working out and like doing a couple things just to keep myself entertained and like doing stuff. And then now the third week has just kind of been dragging on. I'm just waiting for it to be over. I basically watch Netflix and I just go on my phone and social media and stuff every day, but it's just... Like, watching shows and stuff gets boring after you've been doing it for three weeks straight. But yeah, since I've eaten breakfast, I will be here in bed doing whatever to pass the time. I don't really know how I've actually managed to spend three weeks doing nothing, but we're here. I started Orange is the New Black, and I'm like three seasons in now, but it is a little bit boring, so I've kind of just been playing that as background noise and then, like, been texting people and whatever for the last couple days. So that's probably what I'm gonna do now. Hello? Please work. What the fuck? <laughs> hotel isn't the best at catering to be being vegan and it just generally doesn't taste the best so my parents have been super generous in letting me order and like bringing food and stuff like that for me so i think i'm gonna order some lunch because i'm getting kind of hungry yawning i literally sleep so much i don't understand these are better than reality wearing my t-shirt it's a bit that one is big obby why is <sighs> cute i just finished calling one of my friends anton for a little bit and now it's about to be eight o'clock and i have a meeting with my manager it's super chill, we're just doing some content planning for this summer to help me be a bit more organized and stuff and putting that into my calendar. So yeah, I'm gonna call him right now. Hi. Okay, update, we just finished. That took like 45 minutes-ish. And it went well. I have a bunch of stuff in my calendar now, so I'm excited for summer. Yay. It is currently like 11 o'clock. I've spent the last two hours looking at potential classes I can register for next year. Registration opens in a couple days, so I just want to get ahead and know what I want to take, both in the fall semester and in the winter semester. I figured out most of it. I just need to figure out one more class for the upcoming fall semester. I think I'm going to get ready for bed now and head to sleep because tomorrow morning I actually have a COVID test. They make you do a COVID test right before you get out of quarantine. So I want to make sure I sleep enough because I have to actually get up in the morning. So yeah, I'm going to start getting ready. COVID test time. It's literally 9 a.m. It's not even... 
Oh my god, no. No. No, 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 no. It's literally 9 a.m. I'm so fucking tired, holy shit. This is, I wanna say, like my eighth COVID test now. Oh my god, I'm so excited to get it over with. I'm gonna go downstairs and hopefully the whole process doesn't take too long. Cause I know last time I had to stand in line for like 30 minutes. Let's go. Okay, I'm back. I just finished. It went okay. I mean, as good as a COVID test can go, I guess. I now have about 24 hours left in the hotel. I think I get around, get out. Oh my God. I think I get out around noon tomorrow. <laughs> um, but I feel like the next 24 hours are gonna pass by really slowly just because I know that I'm gonna get out. So we'll see what I'll do. I might work out and do something cause I haven't worked out in a few days. I don't know, we will see. Update, it's been a little bit. I just did two quick like 10 minute workout videos just so that I could say that I've at least done something. I just feel lazy if I'm laying in bed all day. I'm now in bed though. I'm just on YouTube scrolling through and seeing if there's anything interesting to watch. If I get bored of that, I'll probably watch something on like Disney Plus or Netflix or whatever. My mother just dropped off food that I can eat for lunch. Don't mind the trash. That's good. My grandma talked about you. My mom brought me some pasta, so I'm gonna eat that for lunch. And I'm currently watching Princess Protection Program. So that's keeping me entertained. Hi. We must hurry, Carter. True. You're so much more generous still finish the movie. It was actually surprisingly entertaining. I thought I would be bored, but I actually wasn't. It's still only four o'clock though, so I don't know how I'm gonna kill more time. Fun. <laughs> Good afternoon. It's just me. Yes, I went at 9.30. Okay, thank you so much. Bye-bye. The government called me. The hotel called and they told me that I'm leaving at 12 tomorrow. So since I usually tend to sleep in, I figured it'd be better to pack everything up tonight. My mom has brought a bunch of stuff throughout my quarantine. Like I literally have a coffee machine that she brought and I need to pack up. So there's a bunch of stuff that I need to like put in bags and stuff. So I'm gonna do that right now. Yeah, let's get to packing. RIP to this puzzle that I started in the beginning of quarantine and just never finished. This caused me so much stress. I did not realize how dirty this whole area was, but oopsies. I have this big duffel bag and in that I put most of the extra stuff my mom brought. So like my yoga mat and whatever. The only stuff that's left is a few plates and I just need to figure out how to pack those. I didn't really unpack my backpack in this little bag, so I should be good to go. And then my suitcase is basically packed as well. But yeah, basically all I need to put in here is my toiletries, so that's good. Spoilers, but they just explained how the time... Good morning, guys. I'm wearing the same sweater again. Don't mind me. I just basically finished packing everything. All my stuff is completely zipped up. I just need to close my suitcase. And yeah, my checkout time is in 10 minutes. So, I'm finally getting out. I am very excited. Yay! <gasps> this is so weird. I'm back! <laughs> Hello, Dad. Watch family gatherings back in your room. Emily stole my mirror in my room. So now, instead, I have this. It's really Mom, cute. this is really creepy. The picture? Yeah, it's like I died. <laughs> well, I mean, you are, My like, ears are so big. Your ears are big. Well, they are big, but now I you know. can't see them when... But like, look how large <laughs> they are compared to my face. <laughs> my parents also got me balloons. They're so extra. I actually can't. Yay! <laughs> Back home, baby. Oh my god. Thank you. Sadly, they're not vegan. Oh. So the vegan ones are in the fridge and they don't look as nice, so. <laughs> it's okay. I actually got super lucky with the weather because it's really nice out. So, 
since we're now in tropical weather and I can actually tan, I'm gonna go swimming and go outside for a bit. I literally came inside and my parents were like, oh my God, you're so pale. So we are gonna fix that problem. I'm so excited I haven't gone swimming or put on a bikini in like four months. I forgot how hot it gets here. I'm literally about to pass out. Hopefully I didn't burn. Oh, okay. <laughs>